in a relationship. Oh, oh, Doctor, Doctor Hayden, he was just helping us a few minutes before. What's he doing? Hello and welcome to another video. There's no crazy outfits today. I don't know why. Maybe because I felt lazy. But yeah, welcome to Lampost, a small indie horror game, which I have no information about as usual. Yeah, with that uh, in mind, let's dive right in. Okay, a van, a van passing, passing through. A recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP uh, XXXX, uh, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Baba Bowie. Anomaly. Baba Bowie. Anomaly. Baba Bowie. Anomaly? What's that? What's the road? Anyway, based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. What is SCP? Ah, uh, let's just continue. Let's just continue with the game. Oh, there's multiple characters. Dr. Hayden. Our intel suggests uh, that uh, this is a Keter class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. Alright. We should be very careful while observing this object. Okay. Click here. SCP XXXX doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. Oh, you mean the lamppost disappears? It has teleportation power? Uh, you can clearly see that we are surrounded by forests, yet the objects in this area appear from unknown location. We must contain those objects. Oh, so... Alright, there's random objects teleporting into random areas. Here, this is analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities uh, like frequency, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lamppost and collect them. Alright. I think that's an EMF reader. I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Anom anomalies. Anomalies. Wait a minute. I need to. I need to check that out. A few moments later. Anomaly. Anomaly. Alright, I'm getting in English classes here as well. Anomaly. Anomaly. Alright. Other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will uh, observe us uh, just in case if anything happens. Uh, and Dr. Uh, Thorn will provide us with medical help if we need any. Oh, we are gonna get hurt in this. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant and uh, avoid interactions with the lamppost and good luck. Huh. So the lamppost is the evil one here. Okay, uh, task, collect five objects. Oh, the NPCs uh, move around as well. That's pretty cool. Alright, what are we looking for here? The EMF reader should pick up on something. Uh, but it's too blurry. Oh, I see something here. How do I pick it up? Wait, how do I pick it up? No? Huh? Is that not... Is that not a... Whatever cursed object? What is it called? Is he, is he gonna come and pick it up? Hey, he, I found something here. Take a look at this. Psych! No, never mind. Oh. What's here? Okay. I think this cardboard box is... Uh, and the cup, maybe? Okay, I picked, I picked one of them up. Why is the sensitivity too high, man? Okay, I picked one of them up. Um, which was a cup, coffee cup. I'm in search for another one. Maybe this is, yeah. Two 
Two items done, two objects done. Why is there blood here? Okay. Okay, I think uh, that is one of them. Yeah. No? Okay, the EMF reader doesn't pick it up. A shovel with blood? Okay, I see some more objects here. Okay, what's this? A tape? Tape recorder? Tape? Alright. What else we have? I see a gas can here. Gasolina? No. No? Alright, fine. Let's go to the book towards there. Okay. Oh no. No no EMF. I need to keep searching. Can I interact with the lamppost? Uh, I'm gonna do that after I find the items. How many did I find until now? Three, four? I forgot. I forgot the count. Okay, there's the mushroom count, you know? Something behind this rock. Yeah, I see something. Okay. That is one of them. I need one more item, yeah? Uh, I'm just gonna run through everything. Try to find something. Oh. Okay. Something hidden in the bushes. Report to Dr. Cooper. Which one of you is Dr. Cooper? Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do, n do you not wonder where are the those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Um, yeah, seems suspicious. Uh, who's that? No one is allowed in this area, yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? Yeah, maybe. Who's that guy? Come on. Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequency. Damn. Oh no, the lamppost. Okay. There's an earthquake. There's an earthquake. There's an earthquake. There's an earthquake. Yeah. Stop it. Get some help. Alright. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Find a way out? Yeah. Now I'm in a maze. Wow. Great. Very dangerous. Um, there's a note here. Data known. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that the vortex of the photons uh, create a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else. A dark place where uh, the time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object or a person disappears. Huh. Right. There's a lot of reading in this game. Damn. Okay. Looks like the previous scientist here. Oh. The meme face guy is back here. Oh. What does he want? There's an object here. Okay. What do I do? Can I interact with it? No. There's a TV here as well. Why is the TV here? Does it... Do I need some information from this? No. Never mind. Ah, this is the domain expansion of the lamp. Everybody copying Jujutsu Kaisen now. Right, uh, there's a tape here. Can I take that? Pick that? Put it in the TV, watch a movie? Until I die out of hunger and thirst? Nope! Okay. Oh. Can I interact with this? No? Okay. Right, some more. Some more skulls right here. Uh, previous people. So does that mean I'm gonna die as well? Oh, lot of 
lot of what is it ketchup bottles yeah okay there's another note here date unknown sometimes the lampos can make a choice it can trap the person forever in time or return them back no one knows what happened to those who returned but one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure it whispers your name it suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope when it's done there's nothing left of you okay that is a scary note ah there's another tv here what am i doing with all the oh television the meme face guy is back he's back he's angry Why did that scare me? I thought he's gonna disappear. Okay, some more skull here. I came from that way. Oh, this is a huge maze, man. Is that even human skull? It looks like a monkey's skull, yeah. No offense, though. Go, 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 go. Why is there a vending machine here? This place is really developed, huh? Not up in here. Uh, where am I? Okay, another note. Yeah, we discovered something out of this world. It is a regular. Oh, I'm back to the start. Yeah. Oh, this place is very confusing. Okay, I was just here. Okay. All right, we came through here. Now what? Where do we go? Okay, there's another. Note and uh, TV. To any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in a blink of an eye, it will vanish. But one, uh, but appear once more. We call it the photon, photon shadow, photon sh shadow, uh, which was created by this uh, lamppost. Uh, it is always around the corner. Uh, it makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe. It will trap you there forever without realizing that your flesh does not uh, does no longer belong to you. Okay, that's scary. Ha! Huh. I expected you. You always hear after I on the television. Uh, do you want some movies? I can get it for you. Okay. This time he didn't come at me. Yeah. That's improvement in our relationship. Oh! Oh, Doctor Doctor Hayden, he was just helping us a few minutes before. What's he doing? Is he killing himself? Yeah. Is that his eyeball? Yeah. He dead. He's gone mad. Uh, I'm the only sane person here. Yeah. Hopefully it stays that way. I don't know. The next moment I'll be just banging my head in real life. And this noise is so confusing. I'm back here now. What do I need to do? Where do I go? What do I do? We are back at the start again. Uh, uh. Okay, the doctor Hayden must be here. Can I? Can I save him? Oh, task! I didn't see that pop up. Go to the lamp post. Okay. We just came from there. Yeah. No, oh, this is so confusing. Wait, it's this way, right? No, wait. That's the lamp post. I just saw it. Huh? Oh, oh! I'm getting teleported back. I'm escaping the domain expansion. Ah, huh, we're back. I'm the only survivor. All others are stuck in there, dead. Oh, there's multiple of them. How many of you are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, the game just ended before I even counted. Ah, oh, all right. That is it. Well, the concept was very cool indeed. Multiple interactions. But it was not that scary. Scary elements were less, except the tall figure guy, black figure guy. What am I saying? Yeah. Should have added more. 
scary elements maybe a monster chasing me in that maze that would be fun that is it i think yeah thank you so much for watching if you ended up liking the video consider hitting the like button and subscribing as well see you soon see you in the next one peace out